hello and welcome to this affinity photo tutorial now this is an adaptation of a photoshop tutorial made by pixinperfect and it's called the power of horizontal curves in photoshop now it is well worth watching this tutorial in its own right and i will add a link to it because it's a good tutorial and as you can see it's had like 20,000k likes so it shows you sort of how the Photoshop world um, appreciate this tutorial so I wanted to see whether it could be done in Affinity Photo now it's fairly easy to do and it's just a very slight variation that you need to do in Affinity Photo to get it to work so let me come back to finish photo and I'm going to start with this image here which I got from pixabay.com and it's got a nice sort of blend of very light and very dark to sort of help show what's going to happen here now before I jump in and actually start the tutorial properly let me just open up a curves adjustment which we, we all know and have seen before and there's been in many tutorials where you have this diagonal line that you then sort of move around and adjust the lights and darks sort of generally all over sort of thing you reset that but in this tutorial what happens is we move the line to the midway line so it just goes right across the middle like that and makes the image a solid grey colour. So let me just let me delete that. So that's basically the principle behind what we're going to be doing. Obviously, there's a bit more to it than that. The second half of this video, he explains exactly sort of what is going on, like the science behind it, um, far better than I ever could. So it is well worth watching to the end for that as well. But basically it is about using the blend mode of soft light because soft light sort of can't see the 50% grey. You can see the lights, uh, you know, the highlights below 50% grey and the shadows above 50% grey but it can't see 50% grey which is where you put that line so let me just get on with the tutorial it's quite a fairly easy thing to do the first thing we've got to do is to add an HSL adjustment so you come down to this icon down here which is the half black half white circle click on that and come up to the HSL adjustment and all we're going to do is drag this saturation shift slider all the way to the left to minus 100% so we now have a black and white image because we've taken all the color away let me just shut that so now we want to add the curves adjustment so again come to the adjustment icon and come to curves and like I demonstrated earlier, I'm going to move this up to that midway horizontal line there and move that node down to that horizontal line there and just make sure it's on the line. I think that's pretty much on the line. Might be a little bit out. I mean, a little fraction out. It's not going to be that devastating. So as you can see, we've now got this solid grey what I'm going to do now is change the blend mode of this to soft light. And like I said, soft light, it can't see the 50% grey. So all it is now letting you see is the HSL adjustment that is below it, which turned everything black and white. So with this still being open, I'm going to click on the icon for the HSL adjustment click and hold and I'm going to drag it up and into the curves adjustment and make it a child of the curves adjustment now 
in the Photoshop tutorial, it, this is where it sort of looks like it's doing the reverse. It looks like you're sort of making the curves adjustment a mask, um, a child of the HSL adjustment. But I think it's doing the same thing. It just looks like it's doing it in reverse, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to click and drag this up. And as I drag this up, there should be a blue line that comes just to the edge of the icons. And if I let go, that HSL adjustment is now a child of the curves adjustment. And as you can see, we've got the color come back. Because I don't know the science behind it, but I mean, I'm guessing it's because that curve is now blocking out the 50% gray, which is sort of knocking out the black and white. But like I said, I don't understand the science behind it. So what I'm going to do now is to sort of select specific areas to darken or lighten. So what I'm going to do, I will click on this button here that says picker and I can come back to the image and that cursor that is now a hand will turn into a sort of target symbol. And you pick an area that you want to lighten or darken. So you press the left mouse button, keep it pressed, and then you can move the mouse up or down. You move it up, it will lighten, move it down, it will darken. But where you click on the image, it will put a node on this line here, and then that will move that line up or down, depending on where it sits within the sort of histogram of the shadows and lights pixel. So I'm going to I'm going to try and darken this chap's ear this, in this really bright side here. So now as I say I'll click on the picker. So the icon has now changed to that target. So I'll click in probably the brightest part of the ear. Keep it held down and uh, if you look at the um, curves you can see that it is a it's put a node on the line and it is dragging that down and it is making that area darker and I hope you can see that really bright ear is now becoming more defined. I don't want to go too far so I put that about there. So what I want to do now is sort of this part of the eye here is quite dark and I want to lighten it so I'm going to click in this area here and move it up to brighten and then hopefully you can see there's now a second node that's appeared on that line and I'm just going to brighten that up to about there I think so that area in there is now darker this area here is now lighter so let's see if I can make this side of the face I'm going to try and make this um, let's see if I can make it lighter so I'm going to click about there, hold and move up. And I'll stop about there. So you can see that it's now made this area a bit darker again. So I can, I can just come to the curves and just move that one up because I know that that node is the one controlling the brightness of that area. So with just three movements there, I've made this ear a bit darker and more defined. I've made this darker eye here slightly brighter and I've made the face on this side lighter. So if I turn off this curves adjustment, it will go back to what it looked like originally. So that was the original and that is what I've done just using what was a horizontal curves line and using the picker and that is basically the end of the tutorial um, it shows you you're sort of changing the brightness without changing any of the colors but like I said the chap in the Photoshop tutorial will probably explain it far better than I could but it is quite a neat trick it's something worth sort of trying out on your images and see whether you get on with it. So thank you for watching and goodbye.